Picture this. It's 1996 and you're a publisher for Seinen Manga. Good evening, Mr. Matsumoto. We're gonna need you to draw a story about table tennis. Just make it really mediocre, put a bunch of cute anime girls, and I'm sure it'll do fine. And he's like... No. And now picture this, it's 2014, you're a team of animators led by Masaki Yuasa. Uh, Mr. Masaki, we have a manga here that's about ping pong. You can just go on ahead and put no passion into it. We really didn't deserve ping pong. I don't think anyone asked for this, but it did, and it happened, and I'm gonna talk about it, and what exactly makes this anime so fucking great. To my fellow hardcore gamers, we've all done the thing where we go to the graphic settings of a game and turn everything into Play-Doh. It might look like shit, but if you want to get those extra sweet and spicy frames, you're gonna have to do it. Now, take that, and that's exactly what they did with ping pong. There's no pretty blue eyes camera lens moment, but in exchange, you get an entire anime like this. Like, do you remember that scene from Naruto where he fights pain and everything starts looking like a Van Gogh painting? I mean, yeah, plenty of memes came out of it, but that's still up there as one of the coolest fights in the entire show. I'm a slut for some Sakuga, and when you give me an entire anime of it, my PP does not know how to react. Ping Pong is about two high schoolers that have been playing table tennis together since they were little kids, and both of them are complete polar opposites. Pekka is the small kid with a big mouth at a YMCA who is always going up to you being like, You're trash, bro, I swear. And the other one's called Smile because... <laughs> I get it. It's because he never sm smiles. The tall, skinny, quiet kid who's dark and mysterious, and everyone thinks he's hiding something in this sense of superiority. But the reality is that he has a shit ton of anxiety and can't come to terms with the fact that he's losing passion. Both are pretty good at table tennis since they've been competing since they were little kids. Although one's talented and one's not. One showed up to every practice and the other one didn't. Both of them are prodigies. You can tell what the show is about. Uh, do you work hard or do you born this way? The answer, it's complicated. You see, these high schoolers are at a big point in their life because they need to decide if they want to spend the rest of their life playing fucking boing boing ball. Is it worth it? Or do I just find something else? It's a different answer for each character. For some, it's obvious because they suck. But for others, the answer is not so clear. Smile's good and he has discipline, but he's quickly realizing that his heart's not in it anymore. peko has got crazy potential, but he's too busy doing weird YouTube ASMR videos. It's not even clear for a Chinese superstar like Wang Kong. His hometown's depending on him to become something great, but there's a big wall ahead of him. It's only once he plays internationally that he realizes there's players out there who he can't even come close to. But they're still young after all. All the shitty kids play with Peko and Smile because in their school, ping pong's just a small club. And then there's Kaio Academy, which is literally a... I don't even know what you'd call it. It's funny because a lot of us have been there. I remember in the summer, we'd go to our games in a van all excited, and then we look at the other side and it's a bunch of six foot 28 mammoths with beards. And they're like, oh yeah, he's 15 years old. And the teams like this were all called Death United or some shit. This anime goes through really complex themes. It's not just some, whoa, who's stronger, whoosh. They have a crazy special attack, wow. It's more like, I have dreams and goals, but my anxiety is holding me back. Everyone wants to make it to the top, but is the view even nice up there? I want to quit, but it's consumed so much of my life that it's it's too late to go back now. Let's just be honest with ourselves and admit that most sports anime are like, It's swimming, but we made it sexy. It's basketball, but hot and sweaty. We've got badminton, except now there's milky boobies. I can't say that... This isn't a nice change for once. Oh, also, can we spend a good fucking while to appreciate the soundtrack? I want you to picture the sport of ping pong. Now, imagine that turned into an anime. I want you to picture in your head what you think music from a ping pong anime would sound like. Because I promise you, you weren't thinking it'd be like this.
again, I don't think anyone asked for ping pong to be this good, but now that I know it exists, I've needed this my entire life. Ping pong is a slice of life, coming of age, action, anime, whatever you prefer. Hell, you could use this as club music for all I care. I wouldn't even blame you. If you like sports anime, but with some spice, I highly recommend giving ping pong a chance. Or don't, it's literally your choice and not my problem. For whatever reason, I've been finding it extremely fun to make these videos, so please let me know what you think. If you're also into anime or manga, then let's chat. I, I'd love to meet other people and check out anything you might recommend. I'm a slut for subscribers and ego boost, so do that if you enjoyed any of this.